So in this video, I want to discuss automation. I know a couple of people that never use it. So if you're starting out and you've heard of automation or you have no idea what automation is, watch this video. Hopefully I will explain it to you. And by the end of this video, you should understand how automation works and you should be able to use it within your own session. So here's an example of where I would use automation. I had a client, every time he came to the studio, he would either write everything there or he would modify his lyrics there. So every time in the booth, he would pull out a piece of paper or a Blackberry. Yes, I said Blackberry. It's a long time ago. A lot of people still do that. They bring in their phones and they're reading from their phones. Or if you want to avoid that, you could have a computer monitor and have the lyrics there. Or you could have a stand. Now, this particular artist kept moving away from the microphone. And you can see where that can cause problems. So instead of stopping him, I would allow him to finish. And then I would have to automate all those parts where he looked away. Because if not, you could really tell the difference. You can hear it every time he moved away. So using automation, I would fix all of that and everything played out good. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to write automation using your software, not using any external control surfaces or anything like that. Now, I do have an external control surface and I prefer to work that way. But if you don't have one, it's okay, you don't need it. You can do everything within the mixer of your software. All right, so before we write any automation, we have to turn automation on. If you go to your mixer, check it out. Over here in auto, you click this little drop down and it's gonna open this window here and you have retouch, latch, right, and off. So that's all the options we're gonna be looking at. Now, if we go back to our main window, you have the same options right here. Off, read, touch, latch, and right. The first one we're gonna deal with is touch. Now I'm gonna press the space bar. And as you can see, it's normal. But now if I grab the fader, you see it turns red, that means it's writing automation. So now I can start automating. And once I let go of the fader, it goes back down to unity, back to zero. So I grab the fader again, back to zero. That's great. The other good thing is, if I wanna correct something, I don't like the way that sounds, press the space bar, I can hold on to the fader, and write that automation, and there you go. Let's take a look at latch. Latch is a little different. Check it out. Just like before, it's not writing automation. I'm gonna grab the fader. Now I'm gonna let go of the fader. It's still there. It's still writing automation, but it's not going back to Unity when I let go of the fader. So. Some people just want to have the automation constantly recording. They don't really want to think about anything. Just grab the fader and just do your adjustments. There can be some problems, and I'm going to show you what I mean. So if accidentally you keep it on right, and you don't pay attention to it, you're going to go right over your automation. So that's something you have to worry about. So guess what? You lost all your automation right now. Of course, if you press Z, it's going to undo it. So if you're done with all automation, you could go to read and now it'll just read all your automation as you can see. And even if you stop one of the faders from moving, it's not going to override your automation. So it's pretty cool. In a real session, in a real song, you want to use automation when you want the snare to be a little louder in a certain part or you want the bass guitar to be a little louder. Certain parts you want to bring to the front, certain parts you want to bring to the back. So that's why automation is good. If you have a vocal, you can keep your finger on the fader and ride the whole fader, the whole verse, whatever you want to do. And that's normally what I do. All right, so this is the part where I would use my control surface to write some automation. And it's basically the same thing. So what we're going to do here, we're going to open up the automation lanes and I'm gonna put it on touch and I'm gonna press the space bar. Now, fader number two is the fader that I'm gonna be uh, controlling. So check it out. As you can see, nothing's happening, but when I touch the fader, it's writing automation. Now, something that's very important, if you're gonna buy a control surface, you have to get one that's touch sensitive. If not, then you're gonna have a problem editing your automation. For example, let's say I didn't like this and I wanted to edit that. So I could just grab the fader and correct it, correct my automation or completely write new automation. So the next one, let's look at latch. A lot of people use it and it also reminds a lot of people 
of the console. Simple reason is you can adjust it, leave it alone, just like you would do with a mixer. It won't move anywhere unless you tell it to. Now, if you wanted to edit any of these points here, you can do it with your mouse. Want to just modify the automation using your mouse? You can do that. Now, another thing that you can automate, your plugins. I was going to make a video about automation and now show you how to automate your plugins. There are multiple ways to do this. So I'm going to automate the CLA 76 plugin. And in order to do that, you want to hold down Control Star Alt and click what you want to automate and enable automation. Then you want to set your mode. I want to set it to, you know what? Let's leave it at latch. And let's take a look at our automation lanes. Make sure we have the right one set. And let's uh, automate the output. See, it makes more sense to use latch with a plugin than touch. And as you can see, I wrote the automation. Now, if I were to use touch, the minute I let go of the output, it goes back to its original position. And that could be a good thing or it could be a problem. It depends on what you're doing.